So I have got another candy tasting video for you today and this time it's going to be trying Japanese candy. This video was very highly requested, I'm not sure why, but a lot of people have asked me to try Japanese candy, so I decided to give it my best shot. The lovely people at japancrate.com sent me a package full of Japan, Japan? Japanese goodies for me to try. So I'm very, op very open, I'm very excited to open whatever it is in this box. I can't speak today. I'm very excited to open this box and demolish whatever it is that I find inside. So let's get cracking. Oh my god, this is cool. So this is what I've got in my little box and I've got this cartoon strip thing here and on the back it tells me what everything is in English. So I'm not actually going to look at that because I want to try everything without having a clue what it is and then I'll use that for reference after, go back to it and to find out what it actually is. Ooh, I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> Let's just go to this one first. This one is called Happy Nick. Nikuku. Happy Nikuku. And it feels really squishy, so I'm guessing it's going to be some kind of jelly thing. It's got a resealable pack, which is nice, in case I want to have a few later. Mmm. What is that taste? They are good. Oh my god, these taste like Percy Pigs. They're called Happy Pores Gummy. These juicy peach pour gummies, that is what they taste like, peach, are so soft that you just might think you're holding hands with a cuddly kitten. Oh, that's cute. I'm gonna give these a nine out of 10, I really like those. So next I've got a green Kit Kat. I'm not sure what flavor it is, but the green Kit Kats here are mint, so maybe it's mint, I do not know. Oh my God. It's actually green. The actual Kit Kat is green. It doesn't smell like mint. That's good. It tastes like white chocolate Kit Kat. Oh my god, matcha green tea Kit Kats. A mellow and creamy green tea flavour. These green tea Kit Kats are made using real Uji Gyokuro tea leaves from Japan. Wow, that is so cool. But I don't think they tasted like green tea. Well, I couldn't taste it anyway. I'm going to give those a 9 out of 10 as well. So next I'm going to try these things. Again, literally no idea what to expect. They are little hard balls. They're chewy. Mmm. Oh my god, these are really good. These were so good. It tasted like a mix between like cola and lemon. It might be like lemonade flavoured, I think. Let me have a look at the, my comic book. So these were Ramun Marble Gums. Oh, it was gum and I swallowed it. Oops. Citrusy and delicious Ramun flavoured gumballs. These pack a small hint of fizziness, just like a real Japanese Ramun soda. Yeah, those did taste like a little bit fizzy. I really liked those actually. I'll probably give them an 8.5 out of 10. Next, I'm gonna go for another resealable pack. The flavours are yogurt, what looks like water, <laughs> um, orange and apple. So I'm gonna give these ones a go now. An orange one. I'm gonna have to spit each of these out before I try the next one because I don't want to swallow any more gum. Okay, so now I'm gonna try a blue one. Well, that's a weird taste. It's like lemon and mint together. It's quite refreshing actually. Now I'm gonna go for the really dark grey one. Maybe that was water because that didn't taste like anything. Oh. Wait, what is that? Ooh, I don't like this one. I've also got a light yellow one. Oh, this one's yogurt. <laughs> it should just not be a flavor of a chewing gum ever. And finally, I've got the red one, which is apple. They're so weird. They start off like not tasting like anything and then they, the flavor like comes in one go. Yep, that one was okay. So those were, create your own gum flavours using the five included base flavours. Watch out for the grey, it's a prank colour that blocks sweet flavours from your tongue. What? That actually worked, because you know when I said afterwards that it didn't taste of anything? Magic. These were good, but not as good as the other gum that I tried, so I'll probably give these ones a seven out of 10. Right, next I've got this little pack 
of what looks like make your own candy or something. Japanese candy is very easy to open, which I like about it so far. Look at that. You know, it just slides out. Beautiful. Really enjoy that. I've got a packet of like biscuit kind of sand. <laughs> I've got these weird little white crispy things. And I've got a sachet of what I think is chocolate. So somehow I've got to make something out of this. <laughs> I think you have to empty everything into its little compartment on this tray and then you put water in the white things and they go gooey and then you dip the gooey white stuff in the chocolate and then in the biscuit stuff and then you eat it, I think. So that's what I'm gonna do. Be right back while I go get some water. So now I've got my water, I'm gonna empty out both of the sachets, so the chocolate and the biscuit stuff into each of these two little compartments here. This is so weird. This can't be like socially acceptable to do on like the train. It's not one of those snacks that you would get, you know, if you're in a rush. <laughs> right, okay. That really, really looks like poo. It's now the biscuit. Now I guess I'll put the water into these white things. I hope I'm doing this right. I could be doing this so wrong. Oh my god, they've gone really, really gooey. Oh, I really don't want to eat this, but we're going to. Okay, so I'll dip it in the chocolate. What are these white things? Right, cover it in chocolate, because these white things are freaking me out. And then dip it in the biscuit. This is not normal. Right, here we go. Ugh, no. The white things have like no flavour and they look like little pieces of squid. I can deal with just the chocolate dipped in the biscuit stuff. Right, that I can do. But these white things, <laughs> there is no place for them here. So that one was Choco Kinako Moki DIY. Build mini chocolate moki with this unique DIY kit. Add water to the white discs to activate the moki, dip and enjoy. I didn't enjoy. I'm gonna give that one a three out of 10. So next I'm gonna go for what I can only assume are pea flavored crisps. They're like little pea pods and they're green. Again. Well, I never thought I would try a pea flavored crisp. <laughs> so let's see what my card has to say about them. Try one of two savoury snacks, a savoury soy mochi wrapped in edible rice paper or crunchy snow pea chips made from real snow peas. Which one will you get? Oh, so you can either get the pea chips or the soy sauce mochi and I've got the pea chips. Okay, yeah, so I was spot on with that one. Nice one, Rosie. They didn't taste that bad, to be honest. It's a very mild pea flavour. Um, <laughs> I think they're edible, but I probably wouldn't go for them again if I had the choice, so I'll probably give them a 5 out of 10. So next I'm going to go for this bar, this big bar. <laughs> what is that? Oh my god. My taste buds do not know what's going on right now. This is a taste I've never experienced before in my life. It's like wafer and then it goes creamy, like it melts. This is so weird, I don't know what it is. I quite like it though. So that was a white chocolate Big Bar Z, a big wafer bar similar in texture to a giant Kit Kat, a once crunchy bar soaked in smooth decadent white chocolate. Oishi. And it actually says oishi at the end. So I think I'll give this one an eight out of 10 just for originality and the taste was also pretty good. So next I'm gonna try this really, really cute little bottle of pop. It reminds me of Panda Pops, which we used to get at like school discos, like the blue and the red Panda Pops. Um, if you're a 90s kid, you will know what I'm on about. What the f The lid is like, look, this just came off and there's like a seal on it, like a little bubble seal. What am I meant to do with that? Do I push it? I think I'm meant to push this down. <gasps> ah! That just went everywhere. What is the point in that? Mm, that's quite nice. I think this might be the same drink as the flavour of the first gum that I tried. Because it tastes quite similar to that. Now that little ball thing is just floating around inside the drink. I don't get it. Let me see what it actually is. Kawaii Ramune. So it was the same flavour as the 
gum, go me. This Kawaii Ramune drink is a new shake for Marble Ramune. Pop the marble from the cap using the tool provided and enjoy. I don't get the point in the marble, I'm not gonna lie. I think I'll give it a 7 out of 10 because it was really hard to open but the taste was quite good so I think a 7 is fair. So now I'm gonna go for this which I think is grape flavoured popping candy. Oh, it's gum. Again, it's not popping very much. It's a nice flavour though. Let me just confirm what that actually was. Little Gang Grape. That is a very controversial title. Little Gang Grape. Right. <laughs> gum that starts off with a Pop Rocks-like crackle and ends as tangy grape gum. Hmm, okay. So yeah, like I said, these weren't that poppy for popping candy. Um, but the flavour was good, so I'll probably give them a 6 out of 10. Next I'm going to go for this little, what I think is a chocolate bar. It's got a dog on the front, which is cute, but now I think it's like a dog bar for some reason. Oh, there's a little picture of a dog in there. This is cute and creepy and weird all at the same time. Is this like a collectible card thing, I think, maybe? Don't know. I love it when chocolate bars are wrapped like this because it reminds me of Charlie in the Chocolate Factory when he opens his golden ticket and he's like, I think that's just me. So yeah, it's chocolate. It looks like it's got like crispy bits on the bottom. I do like it when chocolate's got a bit of a crisp in it, so I really like that. And the chocolate is quite rich as well, so yeah, nice one. And let me see what it says about these dogs. Talking puppy chocolate, the cutest crispy rice chocolate bar around with a cute puppy on the package and a heart activated puppy pun joke card inside. Well, the joke card I can't read, but I'm sure it's a great hoot. I think I'm gonna give that one a seven out of 10. So I've only got three things left and next I'm gonna go for the Pejoys and it says they are Pocky's friends. And I think I've got Pocky. Yep, I've got Pocky here. So apparently these two are mates. So we'll go for the Pejoys first, or is it Pejoy? Pejoy, Pejoy, I don't know. These are green tea cream filled biscuit sticks. So I'm guessing they might taste a bit like the Kit Kat that I tried earlier. Oh my god, they're like little bamboo sticks. That's so cool. These taste more like green tea. They're still quite good. Yep, I can definitely taste the green tea in these ones a lot more than the Kit Kat, but it still tastes good. It's not like just green tea. It's still like sweet. So yeah, these are pretty good. I think I'll give them a seven out of 10. So it's only fair now that I go for the Pockies. I really like that name, Pocky. I think it'll be like a good name for a dog. Pocky, come here. So these are pretty much exactly the same, I think, but chocolate banana flavor. It looks like a sparkler that you have on bonfire night. Well, that is so strong on banana. Mm. These were pretty good, they were really similar to the Pajoys, they were just a really strong banana flavour. They didn't taste much chocolate, so I probably would have liked a bit more chocolate in there. A bit less banana, a bit more chocolate I think, just to get a bit more balance. Um, so I'll probably give these ones a 7 out of 10 as well. Let me see what it says about those two. So matcha green tea Pajoy. Pajoy is like inside out pocky. Crispy crunchy biscuit sticks stuffed with creamy green tea filling. How will you eat them? How else are you meant to eat them? And then Choco Banana Pocky. The newest release from Pocky. These are a tasty and genius spin on the classic chocolate covered banana. And the last thing I have to try is this. And I think it's candy floss. So yeah, I love candy floss. Oh my God. It's like another one of those kits. So I've got number two and number three, but I'm missing number one, I think. I found number one, it's like little, what looks like little tiny polystyrene balls in a bag. Um, this is so strange. What is with all these kits? So I think I add number one into this water pot. Hope, because that's what I'm doing. And then I've got to mix it with this spoon. Right, so they have dissolved in there. This is like a little chemical reaction. I feel like I'm in a science class. And then I've got to pour number two into the second dish. Let me do that. I'm mixing it around. This is so weird. Right, so now I've got to pour number one into number two. Don't know how I feel about eating this afterwards. Okay, so now I've got to open the third packet and tip that in. In it goes. 
doing something. It looks like hair dye. Oh, Jesus, what is this? That looks like candy floss. I wanted candy floss. This is just weird. You know, it's like at a phone party. The stuff that's left over after everyone's gone. That's what it's like. Okay, here goes nothing. Ugh. The texture of that is absolutely disgusting. What was that thing? Magic bubble jelly DIY. So I did do it right. It's not meant to be candy floss, it's meant to be jelly. Mix the powders with water to change the colour and the texture of this candy. Grape flavoured magic jelly that changes in front of you. No, no, no. I think I'll give this one a 2 out of 10 just because it's so complicated and difficult to do and it wasn't good. So that's it for this video, I really hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't already and you would like to, make sure to subscribe to my channel so that you get regular updates of when I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye. Ariana Grande or Katy Perry? Honestly, I would say neither, but if I was forced to pick one, probably Ariana because I think she's the better singer out of the two.